Hi everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I want to show you how you can create your own WordPress plugins with the help of ChatGPT. So uh, yeah, ChatGPT is so powerful that um, ChatGPT can create uh, plugins for us and yeah, ChatGPT can create the whole code for us and um, all we have to do is download the code or copy the code and uh, yeah, create, combine the code and create our own plugins. So yeah, in this video, I want to show you step by step how you can do this and um, it's relatively simple. And yeah, oh, by the way, if I look a little bit red on the display, my face looks a little bit red on the display, I was in holidays for a few days on the beach and I was a little bit too much in the sun sunlight and uh, yeah that's why I'm looking a little bit red in the face I see it on my display here okay but uh, nah, never mind so let's get back to the topic so um, yeah all we need is our handy dandy um, WordPress website and ChatGPT. I opened it and um, I also made a few uh, or made um, two example I wrote two commands for uh, for the plugins uh, I want to show you so that I don't have to think about it uh, now. Let me copy the first one and let's go to ChatGPT. So I have a new window here and the first code is uh, please write the code for a maintenance WordPress plugin. Uh, when activated, there should be a message that the site is currently under maintenance mode, mode, meet, mode. Okay. So and then let's press uh, start and let's see how or what um, ChatGPT is uh, putting out here. So of course, uh, first we get um, the PHP file and I think, okay, that is everything. Okay, yeah, this is uh, really easy. So you can see this is a really simple plugin. Um, there's, uh, we don't need uh, CSS code styling. Uh, for this plugin or any JavaScript for special functions, then um, it is enough to have a PHP code. So, and all we have to do now is uh, click on copy code. And then let's go to our desktop here. So right now I am on a Mac computer and um, if you are on a Windows computer, I think it's almost the same. So all we have to do is uh, we need um, a text editor uh, on, um, on Mac, it's uh, the text editor and on Windows, I think it's the normal editor you need. Um, so on Mac, if you are on Mac, uh, press command and space and then you can search for it, uh, text edit. And um, yeah, but uh, right now I already have um, one text editor window open and then I will click uh, on file and new. And here I will paste in the PHP code. So um, here you can see the plugin name inside the PHP code is uh, the plugin name is defined. And here the description, you can of course change everything. The plugin version is 1.0 and the author name is uh, your name. So let me put in my name, <laughs> okay. And now all we have to do, um, I will copy the name of the plugin real quick. And then I have to go to um, file and save. And then I will go to my desktop. Perfect. And then I will paste, paste in the name. And then I will save it as a PHP file. So great. Then I will click on save. And here is my PHP file, maintenance mode PHP. And I can close this. And now all I have to do is right click, right click. I think, I think it's the same on Windows. So right click and then click on uh, compress. And now I have a zip file, uh, maintenance mode PHP zip. I don't know. Let me delete this maintenance mode zip. Okay, perfect. And then we go to our website, our WordPress website, and then we go to plugins and add new. And now we go to upload a plugin because the plugin is on our desktop right now. Choose file, desktop maintenance mode, zip, okay, open and install now. 
and this is really quick because it's only a text file this should be uploaded um, yeah in no time so there it is then i will click on activate the plugin And here you can see the plugin is activated and let me see if I can find it here. Maintenance mode here, you can see um, version 1.0 by Tim, by me. <laughs> Perfect, and let's go to the front, uh, front page here. Let's click on refresh the website. And now uh, it could be because I am logged in right now. Uh, let me open. Let me open this in another browser because maybe it's because why I am locked in right now. So let me open this in Safari and here you can see now when I open when I'm not locked in um, as a um, admin in my WordPress website. Now you can see the site is under maintenance and yeah, everything is good. Then I close this and I will quickly uh, deactivate the plugin because I don't uh, want uh, that this plugin is activated and uh, nobody can see my site but you can see how simple this is oh uh, let me enable this real quick before i forget okay now you can see how easy this is let's go um or let's leave it here and um yeah all you have to do is um, copy the code and um yeah let's uh, do another plugin for uh, this is a little bit more complicated so i hope this works uh, let me paste it in here. So the next code is please write the code for a WordPress plugin that adds a daily task window to the WordPress dashboard. The daily task window should be writable and it should be able to check all but and uh, it should be able to check all done tasks when a user is finished with the specific task. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, let me see what uh ChatGPT does with it. Okay, we have our PHP file and also ChatGPT will explain everything um in, in plain text what you have to do. Um so um you can read everything. ChatGPT is so good. Uh it shows you everything um that you gives you detailed instruction. You see what you have to do to uh, make this plugin work. So you can see here's our JavaScript file and that's everything. Um, here we have our, our PHP file. And um, here um, ChatGPT has here uh, created the JavaScript file for this plugin. So let's uh, have a look how this is working. And um, again, we copy the code. The for the PHP file and then we go here and file a text editor, a new text file, paste it in here. So um, copy this, and then we click on file and save as daily task list and dot php important click on save there's our php file then we can close this and then we go back to ChatGPT. now we need our uh, javascript file uh oh i think we made a little mistake here so um let's copy this Oh, wait a second. Dash and dash. Okay, I think this is better. So let's make a new. Let's make a new text file here. Paste our JavaScript code in here. And now ChatGPT shows you exactly uh, what you should name. Name the file. Copy this uh, file. Uh, save then okay save to the desktop there is our javascript file and i don't know if this is important um yeah let's make it small small d capital 
list. Okay, and then, uh, okay, this is good. So now we can compress the two, two files here. Compress. Let me copy the name. Paste it in here, daily task list. Okay, perfect. So then we go back to our WordPress website and then we click on add new plugin. Mm, upload plugin, upload from desktop, daily tasks. Okay. Then we click on install now. And I hope this works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, when this not works, then um, yeah, you have to figure out where the mistake is. But uh, yeah, let's see what happened here when I click on activate. Uh, daily task list, there it is. So let's go to our dashboard. Uh, there it is. Wow, that's great. You can see there's our daily task list. <laughs> that's great. So, um, I don't know. Write a block, block post. Oh, that's great. Add new task. Ah, this doesn't, no, don't. Ah, okay. There it is. Okay. It's a little bit uh, slower. Okay. Yeah, great. So, um, delete an image. This is really cool. Yeah, you can see now um, you can do almost everything, almost any um, WordPress plugin with ChatGPT. All you have to do is uh, yeah, uh, play around a little bit with uh, ChatGPT and uh, try to um, find the right uh, description for the plugin. And if uh, the, the better your description to ChatGPT is what you want to do, uh, what what you want the plugin to do, the better it is, the better ChatGPT can uh, produce the code for your plugin. And then, uh, yeah, of course, you have to uh, copy the code um, and paste it in the text file and then save it. And um, yeah, for example, if you have uh, the PHP file, then you name it PHP. If you have the JavaScript file, then uh, you name it JS. And uh, if you have a CSS file, so a styling, then uh, you name the file CSS. And then all you have to do is um, uh, select the, the created files and then compress it and then upload it. And yeah, then see what happened. And so in case it's not working, then um, what you can try to do is tell ChatGPT what's not working and ask ChatGPT to rewrite the code and uh, yeah, then test it again. But uh, yeah, or you can also try to figure out your, the code yourself, what's wrong with the code. But uh, yeah, try to start with uh, simpler plugins. And if a simple plugin works for you, then of course you can start creating a more difficult plugin or with more functions or something like this. So, and yeah, I think uh, I showed you how you can create your own plugins with uh, ChatGPT, your own WordPress plugins with ChatGPT. And I think this video was really fun and you can create really cool things with ChatGPT. And uh, yeah, I think I will uh, create a few plugins or test around a little bit uh, for myself because I, uh, yeah, I've, I think it's really funny and really cool what you can do with it. So yeah, if you found this video informative, then uh, please press the thumbs up button. And uh, yeah, uh, also please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will publish more and more helpful and informative um, videos about WordPress, web design, SEO and e-commerce and so on. Yeah. So then thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.